Hi everyone. I'm gonna show you how to work quickly, how to work with this SISO tool, like uh, we did in class. Let me share my screen. Okay, let's go to MATLAB. And let's say that we're dealing with a transfer function of this sort. G is um, one over S, S plus four, S plus six. And I'm gonna show you a trick now that I haven't shown you before. And you can invoke this SISO tool straight up with the function G, the transfer function G. So when it will open, it will already populate G for you over there and you don't need to do anything. It will also set H, uh, the feed, feedback transfer function H and the controller transfer function C to once automatically for you. Let's see it. Okay, so it's loading pretty slowly. Okay, no, now it's opened. Okay, here in the left-hand um, side, in the top side, you can scroll between F and you can see that F is one, C is one, G is our function, transfer function, the open loop transfer function, and H is one. Okay, and you can see also the Baudet plots that we closed back then when we did it in class, but now I'm gonna keep it open so you can see it. And we have the root locus and the step response right here. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna set, let's say a percent overshoot, like some requirements. So we I right click on the Baudet plot on the white region of the Baudet plot, plot and we click on new and let's say percent overshoot of 16. And we have the funnel right here and Let's also design a new design requirement with, in which the settling time line will be on the on the plot. Now, I want to assess <coughs> what's the settling time of this function. So our our okay. So I move it here to the intersection between the, the root locus and the funnel for the percent overshoot. And so this is not the actual response. This is um, the response where the, where the poles are. Let's move it on the root locus. So we can move it and drag it to the place that we want. See? And oh. Okay, so now I drag it a little bit further. I don't want it to be over there. I want it to be here. Okay. Okay, straight on the intersection. So we see that the settling time that we have is about, I don't know, like three, three, three seconds, something like that. That's actually and the design requirements, we can edit and see what the settling time is. 3.35, let's say that we want, in the, in our system, in our control system, we want a settling time of one, okay? Let's close it and we see that, that the line is pushed to the left. And by the way, these, when I move the poles, these um, squares, these little pink squares here, Everything updated, the body plot, the margins, everything updated, okay? Okay, so we see that we have a gain margin of 13.5, and we have a phase margin of 48.4 degrees, okay? Nice. This is where the function is crossing the 180 degrees here. And this is the zero dB gain line. Okay, so we have everything in front of us. We now need to add some control to the system. So let's drag a zero and put it, uh, let's say at minus, I don't know, 13 on the real axis. And it will show up here at minus, minus here at minus 13. It's already zoomed in for us. And now let's drag this zero and change uh, 
beyond the poles and let's change the um, root locus so that it will cross exactly in, in the point we want it to cross over there in the intersection point. Okay, let's let go of the mouse, of the button, left button of the mouse, and it's going to zoom in for us. Okay, so we can see everything here. We can see that it's crossing the root locus, the root, the new root locus after we added the zero is crossing the point that we want, but the poles are not there. So we have to assess the gain. What is the gain um, over there? By the way, if we go now and put our cursor here on G, nothing changed. It's the same G that we started with, but now the controller has changed. And we, we are now this operating point where the um, three um, closed loop poles or three squares, pink squares are, is corresponding to gain of 20.7 and the zero is it is it minus two four four one. Okay, let's let's drag these poles to this uh, point right here. By the way, we can also drag this away from the pole. And these points will move as well. Let's put these two points exactly on, on the intersection there. I passed it. Second. Okay. Okay, now let go of the mouse. And we got everything that we wanted. And now we have the Baudet plot updated. We have a gain infinite gain margin. This this root locus is not going to the right half plane, as we can see it here. We got a settling time of around one second. We have a decent phase margin here. And we have the gain value of 54.265 and the same zero location. And that's about it. By the way, you can see in the Baudet plot, it, it does put the zeros and the poles for you on the phase and the, and the gain. And you can see how the slope changes between, um, inter between segments of the Baudet plot. All right, so that's, I think that's the, the is to it. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to email me. Have a great Thanksgiving. Bye.